Hello everybody and welcome back to my cooking channel. What you making Dave? Today we're gonna do a classic favorite chips. Plain old potato chips. Now you can spice them up, you can do uh, many different things, but we're gonna show you how to uh, make them quick with a lovely little tool that you probably have. Oh yeah. A potato peeler, vegetable peeler, carrot peeler, whatever you call it. Peeler. So we're going to warm the pan up, add a bunch of oil, and while that warms up, I'm going to show you a quick technique to do the chips. So what I've done is I peeled the potato, cut it straight off, and you're going to want to take the peeler at the very bottom and just start running it up, nice and thin. So if you want to get creative, you can go lengthwise, and I'll come a little closer to show you what I mean. So you go through the bottom like this to make it, or lengthwise to create a longer chip. So you can do this, it takes a couple seconds. I've already pre-done one, and by that time the oil should be warm enough to throw in lovely potatoes to make some super crunchy potato chips and the cool thing is the thicker the cut the crunchier it'll become personally I like it a little bit thinner they cook a little bit faster so as you can see pretty much anyone can do it with the peeler you can do it with the side of a cheese grater you can do it with a, a professional mandolin but this is a nice easy way nice and relaxing some people actually count every time so you know exactly how many chips that you make I'm not saying no. COVID has gotten to me that bad yet <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know everyone's trying their best so um, I'm making some potato chips for my lovely girlfriend put a smile on her face he usually does when I cook something special for her turn to accommodate your fingers and be very careful with your fingers all right that's enough for now to show everyone how it's done and you're going to want to put them in cold water wash out some of the starch i'm going to bring this a little closer so you can see all that starch is washed out we're going to drain it out dry them off back in two seconds to show you how to fry them up all right so what I've done is I've dried them off a little bit I've just used a little chinois to get some of the water out the oil should be nice and hot and it's starting to sizzle and bubble that's perfect so we're going to just chop a whole bunch in move them around until they get to a lovely golden brown we're going to transfer them to another bowl right here and show you how easy it is to make chips from scratch just a couple seconds a little bit of prep time and the cool thing about making your own chips is you can use your own seasoning whatever seasoning that you may like you use garlic salt lemon crushed black pepper whatever you fancy and all you're going to do is you're just going to keep moving these around keep moving them around so that they don't stick together and you should be very happy with the end result it takes a little bit of time you can use an air fryer you can use a deep fryer you can uh, do many things but I, I just do a lot of small batch stuff because basically it's just the two of us I'm not uh, feeding a large army like I'm used to doing Seriously, it's uh, another story another day, but uh, yeah, I have uh, fed an army, literally. So we'll let these cook up for a little bit. You'll notice when uh, they're going to start browning very quickly is when they temper around the edges of the potato. And when that happens, that's when you're going to want to start turning it much quicker, more frequently. 
But you can just watch it, monitor it. And back when I was uh, running that other restaurant, my mom used to come in all the time and she'd say, I want fresh chips. Like, Here we go. <laughs> And for the most part, I would uh, save a few potatoes because we'd do our fries from scratch too. Uh, and I would make her potato chips. And just a little salt, nothing else. They're pretty good. But like, you can add absolutely anything. Any spice you like. Heck, you got uh, Kraft Dinner cheese. In a can, like this. Why not? Who cares? Boom! <laughs> Fun snack. I find it's very therapeutic doing chips from scratch. You see that they're starting to change to a different color now, more of a white. That's just before they're going to start browning. They go from a transparent and you can see more to a white color. That's when you know we are very close to the chips being where we want them. It happens so quickly, they're so delicate when you cut them super thin like this. And sometimes you break a little of, uh, you know, a couple, a few of them, whatever you want to say. But uh, yeah, they're so nice. It's a nice treat. It's good for your soul. Do something fun. Something that tastes good. Well, apparently that potato was sick in a stay-at-home order too. It just basically took off. <laughs> Where's the potatoes home? Pardon? Where's the potatoes home? <laughs> Six feet under. <laughs> if you don't obey the stay-at-home order, apparently. <laughs> Ooh. And don't forget to be careful, everyone, especially when you're dealing with auto oil. I know uh, in the beginning of the video you may have seen me bring uh, water close to oil, and most of you know this isn't a good idea. Uh, but what I can tell you is that I am very careful. Uh, I've been doing this for many years. And that's how accidents happen. So, admission on camera, be careful. I've just given myself a tardy. Don't do it, everyone. Stay safe and enjoy chips. So once this batch is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple more batches, slow process. I enjoy doing this. I'm not in a rush. I want to tint the uh, uh, tint, uh, make them brown, like brown them, uh, just to the perfect thing. So nice and slow, turny, turny. I'm not in a hurry. But air fryers work. All those different fryers, they work really well. And don't leave them. Whatever you do, make sure you turn the stove off when you're dealing with hot oil. Please. Oh, it's so dangerous. You know, growing up, I've seen it happen to my my family, my friend's family, lots of people I knew. Safety. Safety is the number one priority. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start taking some of these out, putting it into our bowl with napkins, but I'm going to grab 
tool, which will help you do this a lot quicker. Yes. So we'll get the next batch again. And it's a bit of a process. Well worth it. And again, not a good idea for people to use plastic and hot oil, except mine are rated for a much higher temperature. So mine are okay. You might want to just check that before you do it. So what's very important, be very careful when you're putting uh, the potatoes in for the second time. Make sure that they're well dried off so it doesn't splash up and hit everybody, cause a fire, because oil in open flame, with a little bit of water, I'm telling you, you have some serious issues my friends <laughs> and insurance will cover it but it will not cover the life of your loved ones so be careful that's all i'm saying okay this is the second batch we're going to transfer it over uh, and we're going to do this a couple times to show you the end result Put on the next batch. And we will be right back to let you watch this bowl fill up. Okay guys, so we just finished the last batch that I'm doing for now. It's just a small batch, a couple of chips for me and the camera crew, aka the most amazing person in the entire solar system, galaxy. I go so far as to even say, um, yeah, everywhere, not a place where she's in the coolest and most awesome. Okay, guys, don't forget if you like the video, click like, don't forget to subscribe. Make a comment. Thanks for watching. And if there's any other videos or recipes you'd like to see me do, please don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for joining us.